out of geek care. How's it going? Um, I was going to show you guys how to go into the guiding lens today and how to get them all leveled up. Um, pretty much for the last my forest, my coral, and my volcano up to level seven. I finally did that and knocked them out. Um, and I might take you on a side tour to take a look at these moles as well. Um, they're kind of cute and each region has its own distinct kind of mole. Now they won't start showing up till about level 5 we figured. And uh, with the guiding lens, um, you are going to go and see that uh, each region has its own level. So pretty much I have the wild spire and the rotten down to level 1 so it's virtually nothing in there. Um, and I had to do that in order to get the forest, the coral, and the volcano up to level 7. So if you guys want some advice on how to do that, uh, just follow along, listen, don't forget to like this video and follow and turn on that little bell notification so you can see more of the later. So, anyway, here we go! So if you're wanting to find moles, just uh, one of the important things, guys, is use a voucher, a gourmet voucher. You can find those at the Steamworks. And make, when you go into the guiding lands, make sure to uh, dig all of the bones and the diggies and put level one geologist on. If you do that, what happens is um, you end up uh, just getting an extra dig chance off of these things. The Zoo Master, that's the one that you want to get and to do Zoo Master basically you need to find all of these ingredients here. So we got Glacial Vodka, Toasting Tequila, Snow Melt Snifter, Frost Peak Fizz, Crystal Cloth and Serene Spirit. So as you can see right here, um, I've gotten the Zoo Master put on. It's got a three-star activation chance, which means it's guaranteed to be activated, and that's what you want to see. Microzoologist, basically that daily skill, all that means is that um, you're more likely to find small gold crown. Macrozoologist is a uh, large gold crown, and then biologist is just making rare endemic life more likely to appear. So if you have a zoo master, that's also a good chance. You can double them up, zoologist, or zoo master and biologist. <coughs> Oof, sorry. Um, just to kind of... Um, max out your chances on getting these. So I'm just going to confirm, eat it. There I got Zoom Master and Microzoologist, so there's a good chance these moles will be sh smaller than usual. Um, I'm also going to make sure that on my decorations here, so I'm going to switch out a Vitality for a Geology Jewel. Um, so gather one extra time for bone piles. If you have level 3 geology, that's almost better because that one, um, what it does is it gives you the bone piles, gathering points, and mining out crops. If you're looking to um, get a lot of extra fuel for your um, steamworks, that's one of the better jewels to use as a geologist level 3 in the guiding lens. So, minimum level 1, that will give you extra digs from drop things from monsters from them sparring with each other, as well as from the bone piles. So for sure that's important. Um, yeah. So you need to do that. Um, and then the other thing is you need to make sure that you have your ghillie mantle. Because if you go up to the moles, if they even see you enter the room, they're going to be... On. So let's hop off to the guiding lands. I've fixed my region. So 
Um, the difference between fixing and unfixing means that your own regions will fluctuate. So if you're trying to get your guiding lens up to the level 7, you're going to want to leave it fluctuate, but you're only going to want to work on your own, unless you're working on other people's that specifically hunt monsters that will be beneficial to your level. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, we're just going to go off to the western, er, sorry, the first expedition camp. So I found two in there so far. I'm sure they'll probably add more as time goes on. So when you get to the guiding lens here, you'll see your handler. Go and talk to her first. When you're trying to level up specific things, uh, what I did is I was careful about what monsters that I fought, because certain monsters have certain attributes. So uh, when you look at the Ruiner and Gigante, you'll see the forest region, wildfire, coral, rotted, and volcanic. They're all lit up. Um, Zenogra, we have coral region and forest. So basically, if you are trying to, let's say, up your Wildspire region and you see a wandering Zenogre around, even if it says Wildspire, which likely it won't, um, you're still going to see an effect on your coral and forest region. So those two will go up. The three you got to figure out out of these five you want to pick. Um, so for example, the Gold Raytheon you'll get in the Wildspire region. So if you're really, really intent on hunting a lot of these, maybe you want to get your Wildspire region up to level 7. Um, maybe not. Silver Rathalos is coral. And of course both of them are volcano, so that doesn't matter either or. Um, so it all depends on your focus. Rajang, he is for all five of them. Uh, Yan Garuga, you'll only see it in the forest region. Coral, rotted, and volcanic are leveled up. You're not going to find a Yan Garuga if your forest region isn't upgraded. As you can see, going through there, each creature has its different focus on where it's going to level you up. Okay, so that's just one aspect of it. That's killing the creatures and capturing them. Is If you can lure a monster, that's perfect. You lure them out, you up the region that you want to focus on. I'm going to put on my ghillie mantle right now, just in case um, there's some mullies. So sometimes the mullies appear here, right around this herb. Sometimes they appear up around the corner here. So they are in this little underground area also. So their place where they can be found in luck. Oh, we got lucky. There they are. Looks like we didn't get any of the crazy ones, but we did get some of the small mullies. So let's capture one of these guys just so I can show you. So they're gonna pop up and down. So if they pop down like that and it goes white, you can't catch them. It's only until it turns orange that you can catch them. And things like footprints, for example. So if you wander around and you see footprints, you gather those, those will uh, give research information towards that area. So right now, I don't have anything in the forest area. So you can see I have a pink Rathian that belongs to the coral. Got a Puki Puki and a Kula Yaku for the Wild Spire. So those are the very basic, like, level one to three critters. You're only gonna start seeing Tempereds at level six, and Tempered Elders will only appear uh, once your Guiding Lands are up to level seven. Tempered Namiel, Tempered Kieran. The Tempered Kieran is good for my handicraft jewel. So if I go and pick up these footprints, for example, when it's unfixed, my regions will change. Oh, another um, good tool to have is Tool Specialist. So what Tool Specialist does is it um, speeds up the time between when your mantle will actually reactivate. Megilly Mantle is actually replenishing quite quickly down in the bottom corner there. In the volcano area, cool drinks are always a good idea. Just because your um, health 
mouth will deplete as you're going around. So here I got my mental arm. Oh, and look at that! How lucky! We have uh, one of the special molds. So that's a rowdy moldy. little guy here. Anyways, if you have questions, comments, don't forget to post them down below. I read them all. I would love to get your feedback on what you want to see, how to do things, um, and, and just give me some ideas because um, I want to make stuff for you guys and hopefully you enjoy what you see. If uh, you want to see something else, let me know and uh, I'll definitely try and work on it. So, hope to see you on my stream tonight and hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye!